Hey guys, and welcome back. I know it's been a hot minute. The last month <clears throat> has been a little crazy. I have been sick with this horrible cold slash sinus infection for almost a month. It's finally going away. And then Seth got came down with it as well. So we're both just finally starting to get better and the baby was a little sick so I was like you know what I'm just going to relax for a month and just not do anything I've kind of been off work and it's been really really nice and yeah and you know if you're like me and you love makeup you know you you scour like trend mood and you're on Instagram and you're like what is with all of these freaking amazing pictures popping up of things like city mini palettes a new healthy elixir and then you've got a new bronzer palette like what what is up with this like what is this about and then you know they've got to throw in a new blush and then a new chrome highlighter can we talk about this can we talk about that? Look at that. Look at that. Seven dollars. And then we've got new lip lacquers and a new mascara. I mean, I had to get everything. I got almost everything. And now I'm going to show them to you guys in this tutorial so if you want to see how all these things turn out stay tuned okay so I already have my brows on and I am going to go right in with the foundation and it is the covergirl vitalist healthy elixir foundation and I'm in the color 10 710 classic ivory I'm just gonna take one pump and kind of distribute it and take another pump and add it I can't quite get my finger on what this smell is it smells really good I'm gonna take my Sigma Sigma F80 flat top kabuki brush and I'm gonna start working this product into the face what does that smell smells really good. It smells florally. I think this reminds me of Marc Jacobs Daisy perfume. The elixir foundation is thicker than I thought it would be honestly. It looks really good and it has really good coverage as you can see. It says lightweight, full coverage makeup. This formula hydrates and includes a complex of SPF 20, vitamins, and antioxidant. And it's oil free. So, it's nice that it's got some SPF 20 in it. I think it looks really nice. I don't think I'm going to build it up any, but, um,. I think it looks I think it looks pretty nice okay so now I'm gonna go right in with the eyes and they have these new city mini palettes I picked up rooftop bronze but yeah they have six of these and I picked up the rooftop bronze shade and these are eight dollars I think and they're really pretty so I'm gonna go in with there's not, these are all shimmery. There's not really a good base shade. But I'm going to go in with this shade right here. And I'm going to just apply this all over the lid. I did not like the nudes palettes they came out with. Oh my goodness. That's impressive. Wow. 
Well, that's really nice. <sighs> and surprising. <laughs> Maybelline, did you step up your game? I think that you did. Wow, I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna swatch these before I continue. So this first shade that I have on the lid is right there. Then I'll go the shade over, then I'll do this shade, and then I'll do this shade. Oh my gosh. Look at that freaking pigment. Let me get my handy dandy makeup wipe before I do the last two shades, which are this one and this one. Oh, wow. Look at these. Yes. Yes. I can now say Maybelline has definitely stepped up their game. That's awesome. Really happy with this and it's not too big it's it's really nice um i'm gonna take morphe r37 and i'm gonna go in with this shade right here so these two and i'm gonna put this in the crease wow okay i literally didn't pick up that much product and i even kind of dabbed it off so yeah I'm majorly impressed wow I'm gonna have to blend I'm gonna take a clean brush this is a Morphe M535 and it's clean and I'm just gonna blend this crease that's amazing that's really amazing just blending this together just a tad bit and then I'm gonna take I'm gonna take some more of that copper color that I put in the lit crease of the upper lid and put this in the bottom Um, yes, 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 try these City Mini palettes out, um, they're freaking, oh my god, freaking gorgeous. So now I'm going to go with the CoverGirl Total Tees Mascara, which is also new. Okay, so this is the brush. It's interesting. Let's see how this goes. I guess that is for the inner bit. I, guess. I don't really know. I don't know how I'm supposed to be using this. It's pretty. I guess this bottom bit is for your inner, your inner portion, which makes sense. Oh, it really looks really pretty. And my smart butt got black brown, um, so you know. I usually wear like black mascara, but I got black brown. So it is okay. I like this formula. I like this wand actually. That little bit just grabs those inner lashes and separates really nicely. Impressed. In pressed with this even though I got the color black brown 
It's still really, really nice mascara. Now on for these babies. So I have this Maybelline blush, the new Fit Me blush in 15, which is the color Nude. It's pretty. It definitely is pretty. And yeah, you can definitely build this up. I like that. I'm glad I got this shade. It was the only one that really kind of stood out stood out to me from there's like eight or ten shades, so I like that a lot. And then I've got this chrome. This is what the all the pictures were about was this highlighter. I can't tell. Let's see. Here we go. That's pretty. I like that. It's like golden goddess, golden goddess vibes. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Pick this up. I think this was only six dollars. So the prices on this stuff is is really nice. Um, so this palette was what I was looking forward to because I have the blush palette that came out, and then this bronze palette came out, and this is just like beautiful. This is really nice. This was $10. I'm going to go in with this shade. The second from the darkest. And bronze up. This is gorgeous for you fair skinned gals. It's it's definitely a must. Um, so the only thing that I am missing, look at this glow, is the lips. And I have three of the new Vivid Hot Lacquers. And I think I'm gonna use this shade, which is shade 62, and it's called Charmer. Mm, you guys, these are so nice. And those were right around eight or nine dollars, I believe. I picked all of the Maybelline items up at Walmart so they had just stocked the shelf and I was like I'm on that so thank you guys for watching and yeah I pretty much really like everything I think they really stepped up their game in terms of their eyeshadows which is amazing so if you haven't go pick up some of these city mini palettes they're really really nice at least the um rooftop bronze is just stunning so thank you guys for watching and like and subscribe for more videos and i'll see you next time bye